channel. Today's video is going to be one that you guys have been asking for for a while and that I am so, so excited to make. And this is gonna be all about my plants. I have a modest collection of house plants. I have probably more than the average person, but I don't have a crazy amount like some collections that I have seen. So today we're just gonna be talking all about my plants, which is so fun and happy. And I'm just gonna be showing you guys the plants that I have, where they live in my house, um, little random things like watering them and how I care for them and everything like that. So if you are excited to talk about plants, keep watching and yeah, let's just get on with all the plants that I have. I would love to hear from you guys what your favorite plant is. If you have a houseplant collection or if you don't, let me know what your favorite plant of mine that I'm about to show you is. I have a few plants that are just not doing the healthiest right now and originally I kind of wanted to wait to make this video until they're all kind of happy and thriving, but I realized that I could just show you guys what I do when my plants aren't thriving and when they are a little bit sick. Um, and how I care for them and just to show you guys that I am not a perfect plant mom and that my plants aren't always super healthy all the time. So I'm going to start by just showing you guys all of the plants that I have and where they live in my room. We're going to start with this plant to the left of me that is hanging down here and it is my pothos. This is one of my oldest plants. I think this might be the second plant that I ever got and it started out so small and it's just grown so long. As you can see, I probably need to trim it soon because it's almost reaching down to my bed, but I have cut this and propagated it so many times. I have another really long pothos that is hanging down off of the shelf on my desk. That pothos was propagated from the mother plant over here. I think I've had maybe like five or six plants that I have grown just from cutting off cuttings of this mother pothos and I have a few other cuttings kind of just in glass jars around my room. These are such a great plant to propagate and like give to people as gifts. I love doing that. While we are working our way along the shelf behind me, I will talk about my string of hearts which is a very recent addition to my plant collection that my mom gifted to me. I actually had a string of hearts before but it got infected with some really weird bug and it died and I got a few cuttings that I saved off of it and I have them in a little um, pot that they are kind of growing but they're just not doing the best but I'm still trying to make it grow and bring it back to health. But the new one that I have behind me is doing so well so far and all of the light green leaves are new growth and it's just growing out of control and she's just living her best life up there on my shelf. I think my string of hearts might be my favorite plant that I have, but it's really hard to choose so I can't say for sure, but I really love my string of hearts. <laughs> Next up on my shelf, I have my Monstera Adansoni, I think is how you say it. Um, it's a variety of a Monstera. It is a climbing slash trailing plant, kind of like a pothos. Um, as you can see, I just love the splits in the leaves on this one and I did cut a piece off and propagate it and put it back in when I repotted it. So now there's two strings going down and eventually I would like to propagate this a little bit more. So it's kind of more of a full plant like the pothos. The last plant I have up on my shelf that I don't think you guys can see from here is my ivy, another one of my plants that is very old and was one of my very first ones. I got this ivy when it was a tiny, tiny little baby. I think I have a photo of it when I first got it that I might insert if I could find it. And it has grown into this beautiful long trailing ivy. She almost died a couple times, I will admit, but I think that she is thriving now. She hasn't grown very fast recently, probably because we're moving into like the fall and winter months here in Australia. So I'll just have to make sure to continue to mist her so she can be growing. My next plant that I have is this kind of a peperomia, I'm pretty sure it is. I think it's a variegated peperomia. And this is gifted to me by my beautiful friends, Rachel and Georgia. And I love this plant so much. It was outside for a bit because I had bugs in it, but I just recently brought it inside and she's thriving in that pot on the shelf and she's just doing so good. And 
I just love the light colored leaves of this one. A very, very cute plant. Next, I have this philodendron, which is a kind of similar plant to the pothos. It's got similar shaped leaves. It is like a trailing slash climbing plant as well. And this plant, I have growing up a moss pole. This was in the pot when I purchased it from the nursery and it just recently started kind of growing off the pole so I cut a piece off and it's in a glass jar with some of my pothos trying to propagate. I would love to propagate this one as well to kind of be more of a trailing plant but I also really love the moss pole and the way that it just climbs up on this one. Next I have this rubber tree plant. This is a variegated rubber tree and this one is so cute and one of my favorites as well. And as you can see, she's bringing out a new leaf in the middle there, which is just makes me so happy. Um, and I have this plant sitting in a basket. I just recently repotted her into a bigger pot and she's putting out another leaf. She's loving it. So I'm hoping to grow this one a little bit bigger. This one has been growing pretty slowly, but every leaf that comes out is just so beautiful. My next plant that I have is the Monstera Deliciosa and I love this plant so so much. I love my Monstera. I recently put a moss pole in there to help it stay upright and to grow up the pole. This one seems to be doing really well in the window by the dining room. I want to repot this one soon because it's been in the same pot for a while. Um, but I love my Monstera. I just love the splits in the leaves. It's so cute. I love her. I also have this fiddle leaf fig plant and this plant has caused me a little bit of trouble. I got it when it was a bit smaller and about, I don't know, maybe a year ago or like six months to a year ago, all of the leaves just fell off of it and there was like one or two leaves left but I just kept watering it and then some more leaves started to grow which are the ones on top and then recently it has just kind of stopped putting out leaves so I need to do some research and figure out why that is happening. I also have this alocasia or an elephant ear plant. You should have seen this plant guys a couple weeks ago. It was so beautiful and had so many beautiful leaves, but recently all of the leaves just have decided to go yellow and fall off. So there's a couple leaves left on here, but I am trying to bring this one back to life before all of the leaves die. If any of you guys have any tips for an alocasia, please leave them in the comments. And next I have a few more plants and these ones are all outside because they have lots of bugs in them. They have fungus gnats, which aren't really harmful to the plant as far as I know, but they are just really annoying. So I'm keeping them out there so they don't infect my other plants and I'm trying to treat them for bugs. So the plants that I have out there are this Peperomia plant. I also have a Diffenbachia plant and this pink plant that I don't really know what it is and then this other plant that I don't know what it is. I don't really know what a couple of these plants are, so if you guys know what they are, let me know. But these ones all have bugs in them. But how I'm treating these plants for bugs at the moment is I have this concentrate called neem oil, um, and this is kind of like an eco pesticide, I guess, to get rid of bugs in your plants, specifically fungus gnats. So I just mix this with the water and when I water them, it kind of helps to get rid of the bugs. So I'm still trying to do that and get rid of the bugs for these plants. So hopefully they can come inside soon. But those are all of the plants that I have. Um, there are a few more plants around the house that are my mom's plants, but I'll just kind of show you guys a few of them. Um, even though they're not really mine, I don't really take care of them. And quickly, I will talk about a few things of how I care for my plants and just little care tips and things like that. So watering my plants, one of my favorite ways to water my plants is to water them in the shower. I just throw all of my plants in there, turn the shower on, and just water them 
because you can just get the water everywhere and it doesn't matter and you can also wet the leaves which is really beneficial for plants who like humidity like monsteras, ivies, those sort of plants. Another little tip for plants that like humidity that I have just recently started doing is to take them into the bathroom. So I will leave those plants in the bathroom for a little bit while I have a shower so that way all the steam and the humidity from the shower gets like is there for the plants and the plants can kind of thrive in that sort of environment. Also misting your plants is another way to help them if they like humidity. So specifically my Monstera, I will go like every day or two and use my little mister and just mist the leaves. Another care tip that I like to make sure I do that I definitely don't do enough is dusting the leaves of your plants. Specifically plants like the Monstera or my Philodendron has some pretty big leaves. Any plant with kind of bigger leaves tend to collect dust. So to make sure that the pores are open and the plants can breathe and thrive, I like to go and just wipe them with a damp cloth to get rid of all the dust on their leaves. And another tip that I like to do specifically when I adopt a new plant and bring it into a new space is to leave it in the nursery pot for a while before repotting it because when you are getting a new plant and taking it out of an environment that it is used to, um, it can kind of take a bit for the plant to adjust to a new environment. So having to make it also adjust to being in a new pot can be pretty stressful for the plant if that makes sense. So like with my string of hearts back there, that's a relatively new plant. I still have it in the nursery pot until it kind of gets acclimated to this new environment that I put it in and then I will repot it uh, maybe a couple months down the road. So those are all of my plants. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my plants and watching this video. If you have any other questions or anything, leave them down in the comments. I would love to see some of your guys' plant collections as well if you have some. Send me photos on Instagram. I'd honestly love to see your plants. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.